One more person with Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, MERS, died in South Korea, bringing the number of fatalities to 33. South Korea has the highest number of infections outside Saudi Arabia, according to data from the European Center for Disease Prevention and Control. Egypt's top public prosecutor Hisham Barakat died of wounds sustained in a car bomb attack on his convoy yesterday after it was leaving his home. Yesterday's attack stirred fears of yet more turmoil in Egypt, which has been struggling since the 2011 popular uprising that toppled Hosni Mubarak. Israeli forces boarded a boat leading a protest flotilla of foreign activists to the blockaded Palestinian enclave of Gaza yesterday and forced it to sail to an Israeli port. Israeli troops boarded the boat in international waters, then searched and seized it. The flotilla was the latest in protest against Israel's nine-year blockade of Gaza. Motorists will have to dig deeper into their pockets as the petrol price is set to increase from midnight to night. 93-octane petrol will increase by 44 cents a litre, while 95-octane goes up by 41 cents a litre. Both grades of diesel will increase by 4 cents a litre. The demand for air conditioners and other cooling machines has risen dramatically in Pakistan's city of Karachi as a deadly heat wave has killed more than 1,150 people and has left residents sweltering in higher than normal temperatures of up to 44 degrees Celsius. 